Hello everyone, you are welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Rudwan Ibrahim. In this video, I will be showing you how you can load a column with a no download. In the previous videos, I have shown you how you can load your slab with a point load, with a line load and with an area load. I have also showed you how you can load your whole structure with a wind load using different methods. If you have not seen this video, you can check out the playlist in the description of this video. So this video will be about loading a column with a no download. There might be some time where you just want to um, model a particular column with the foundation where you necessarily do not need to model all of the structure. You might have calculated all of the load that is supposed to be on the column. So all you just need to do is model that column, add the load to the column and then you just um, you design the foundation such as what you have here. Okay. So let's just assume that is what you want to do or maybe sometimes you just want to add some additional no download to your column so how are you going to do that this video will help you on how to do that so let's kick start that um first of all you can go to the analysis tab here now we will have to create a load a load case so i'll go to the uh, building analysis here and then i'll go to um loading combinations you can see that here i do not have any load combination present so let's first of all load all the um the possible load cases so if you want some horizontal maybe wind load or something well i do not really need them so i just click on ok and then all these we have seven load cases they've been loaded now let me create my own personal load case so this is how to create your load case so this video will also show you how you can create a load case not just about loading your column with a no download so make sure you follow this okay so you click on load case and now i am going to add a particular load case so you can either click on this or click on this so this is to add a load case below this particular one that has been selected you can see this is the one that is selected so if you want to add a load case above it or below it you can decide to use any of this so let me try to add a load case above this one so let me click on add above and then you can see that okay a load case has been added above but this and this they have the same identity so you have to definitely edit one so let me edit this first one and then just click on edit now the load case that i want to add which is a no download it is an axial force okay so it is a vertical load if it is not a vertical load then you should select a lateral load if it is lateral or if it is a thermal load or construction straight load so it is a vertical load in this case if you wish to use a crack section you will check the box but not in this case and then um you have to put a label so a label that will differentiate it so that you know okay this is it so because it is a nodal load and it is an axial load so i will just represent it with n okay so uh the load case description you can decide to put a description here so i'll put a description let me say axial axial load that is the description i wish for it and then the load case here you can decide to change it to maybe user defined vertical load or something so i'll put user defined vertical load and then load pattern i will leave it empty just click on ok all right and then you see the end here all right so you can see the type is vertical all right so um when that is done you can see i'm not using the cracked section so click on ok so that is there so if you look at the load cases you see that something has changed here you now have n and you see this is the n that i just added you have your g which is your dead load and then you have everything as present but if you look at the combination here we do not have any n so i have to add it by clicking on add okay so you can see i have seven in number when i click on add it's going to increase you can see they are now hit okay so these and these they have the same identity definitely i have to edit one so let me edit this first one i have g plus q so here i'm going to say plus n now let me use capital plus n and then multiply by f which is the factor okay so what factor am i going to use for n well the n comprises of the dead load and live load so let me just use a factor of 1.5 for this okay you can see my dead load is 1.4 and my live load is multiplied by 1.6 okay so i only want to use this combination so what i'm going to do right now is i will delete all other um load combination so i will leave just this one so this dead load 
um, this load combination will be the only one applied to my structure so if that is done just click on ok so that has been added and then um, let me just close this for now now since the load case has been defined let me click on the column and then from there you can see here where you have loading you can see under here you have loading so you can either add a nodal load or you had a span load in this case i'm adding a nodal load so click on nodal load it will ask if you want to apply to the selected column so just this column so i have to click on selected column okay so in some cases maybe you want to apply to all the column in the story or all the column in the model you should know what to pick among these three so let me click this first one now you can see the load case is present you can see it's n you have g you have others so what i'm adding is n then um i have three options for the load you can also add your moments you can see you have fx that's your moment uh, force in the x direction force in y direction force in z direction and you have the same thing for the moments but this time around let me just add um the load alone okay so you might be confused whether you should use your fx fy or fz but the fx fy fz they are global axis not local axis so if that is the case you can always check here below here you see this direction is x this direction is y and this upward direction is z so you should focus on fz because we're having a vertical load so let me assume the load is 100 kilonewton that is a little bit high because it is still going to factor it by 1.5 so at the end of the day this is going to be 150 kilonewton okay or let me just say 80 kilonewton so that we do not have uh, unnecessary load but still it does not matter you can add any load okay so if you wish to add moment as well you can add your moment let me um no let me just leave the moment for now so just click on okay so now the load has been added you will not see the load physically added but it has been added how do you know you can just um bring your cursor here then when you check what you have here you will see at the bottom here you have your fz to be 80 kilonewton okay so that has been added so that is how you can know if the load has been added or not so this is exactly how you are going to add your load and then you can just go ahead to do your analysis um let me go to analysis so building analysis and then um you might have added your material so i'll just use the default that is there so go to analysis and then uh, let me display analytical model building analysis and then i'm just going to design my column alone and then click on building analysis okay my relative drift is satisfied thank you then you can close that now let's await for the um, analytical model to display let me close this okay so you can see the analytical model you can see the direction of the axial load. you can see that it is coming downward okay because um, you might be wondering if the 80 kilonewton should be added as minus one as minus or positive it will definitely be added as positive it will identify the direction you can see it here so at the end of the day it will use the negative sign as you can see you have the negative sign here so this is how the load has been added okay so um this is exactly how you are going to go about adding a nodal load to your column if you enjoyed this video kindly give it a like and if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel make sure you give it a subscription thanks for watching